Well, we're, I'm going to start decorating um, this signature of our journal page. And you can basically do it any way you want. That's the, that's the beauty of a junk journal. You just do whatever you want. So what I did is I used one of the, the pages from this collection and cut it out and made a little side pocket so you can slip stuff under there. I have a little um, Santa's list that I'm going to be sticking back in here. And I'm not sure if I'm going to put this back in here, but this is from Graphic 45, Time to Flourish. It was their December little card. So I just thought, oh, maybe for now, I'll just put that in here. It's a junk journal. You can put anything you want. This I'm going to leave. This is this is a journal, so I want plenty of space for journaling. More journaling. Um, you can do a little journaling up and through here on the white part, however you would like to use this page. Over on this page, I added the pocket, and this is just the cutoff from this. So when I cut this down, this was part of the cutoff, so I just made a little pocket here. It's just glued down on three sides here. And I'm just going to be stuffing an envelope in here. This is just a regular old envelope. And I put one of their stamps on from this collection. And I made a little Dear Santa letter. So more place for journaling, if you would like. And I'll probably decorate this envelope a little bit more. But for now, I'm just going to be tucking that in here. And then we get to this part, which is this little, um, I can't pronounce it, glassine bag. Remember we put this glassine bag in somewhere in here? Here it is. And this was the little tail sticking out. So what I'm going to do, and what my thought was, I have these pages that, um, these will be free if you... If you do buy this from us, this this will be free. It's You can just print them out and you just fold them and cut them. And then what you do is, I cut a little miter this corner. You're just going to adhere this down with some, well, I'm gonna use tape um, here on this side and on this side, and this will make a little flip page. So more place for journaling, because this is a journal. And that's as far as I've got. I haven't done much else, but I wanted to come on um, just to show you what I was doing. But this is a junk journal. You, you, If you've made them before, you can decorate them with anything that you have to put in them. But like I said, this is more of a journal. Um, you can use it like a dis, uh, December daily if you like. You could do whatever you want with it. It is totally up to you. But I'll come back once I do some more decorations. So before I do this, I just wanted to show you what I'm doing. Here's the Graphic 45 8x8 collection. And I just cut this um, and folded it over. I folded it over. Let's see, that is like one and three quarters of an inch. And that's, I'm going to, and I rounded the corners here. So I just folded that up. And this is going to be sitting in this page. And it's gonna be something like this. And I have to decide how far up I want the green to go. I have a bunch of these index cards, which are real old. Um, I found them at my mom's house. So they're pretty old and they're, they're pretty yellow. So they're stained and yellow. So I thought those might look nice. So I took one of those out and I'm going to be putting that in here. I'm going to be cutting it down so it fits inside this little slip pocket 
and then I'll probably cut this green down about right here. And then we have our little postcards from Graphic 45, so those can be slip in there. I don't know what else I'm going to do, but that's just a, an idea. We can put some other stuff in here too, but I just want to have a lot of spaces for journaling. So whoever gets this can do a lot of journaling. I might just fold this so it's a, like a little journaling booklet. I'll see. So this is what I ended up doing. I did, I'm going to be um, adhering this um, down. So the total height of the green, well, of this part is like six and a quarter inches, six and a quarter inches. And so I rounded the corners here, inked everything, um, put my tape, skinny tape on the sides here. I ended up just folding this this six by nine. Is this a six by nine? It's an eight by five inch index card. Inked it, folded it down the middle, rounded the corners on this side. I'm gonna put that down in here. Have our little um, postcard from the Graphic 45 collection. That's gonna go in here. And I found this, this is from last year's um, album I did for Stamperia. Well, I did a Stamperia album. I didn't do it for Stamperia, but I did a Stamperia album, Letters to Santa. So I thought, well, just pull that one there too. So we have this little, little, um, little pocket insert here with lots of places for, for journaling. So I'm going to affix this down here and then this page will be done. So I'm going to move on to the second signature of our journal part. So it's this little, this booklet that we made. So you open the first page and I put in this little, it's a card from the collection, this, this collection. There's a card that has four, I think four of these squares. And I picked this one, just adhered it down on two sides. And this is going to be a tuck spot, so you can put anything in there that you like. Nothing here. Then we have this little um, part that was part of our, our golden vellum envelope sticking up. So I'm going to reinforce it just with a little strip from this collection. We, it's, it's another strip that we used when we cut some of these sections off. Just going to fit it in here to the size of the paper that I'm going to be installing. So I printed this off, folded it in half, trimmed it, and eat the edges. So this is going to be going like this, just like we did with the other one. And just kind of keep this a little bit farther, far, you know, about one millimeter away from the edge, just so it's easy to move. I just want this to reinforce this whole area. So I'm going to be attaching that. I'll be cutting this little strip off, obviously, at the height of that. So that's what I'm going to do next. On this page, I got um, this from the collection, this page. On the flip side is some tags, it looks like. I've already cut it, so I just measured it to fit um, with a, just a tiny little bit of reveal of the green underneath, like that. And I think this is two and three quarter inches. Let's see. This is two and three quarter inches wide and it is like seven and a half tall not quite seven and a half tall and then i just got this from the graphic 45 collection of the ephemera bits and put that up there 
and I added some washi tape that I had. This is washi tape from, I think I already told you, from Hobby Lobby. It comes with this and this. These two it comes like this with these two together. So I just put a little bit down here. And so now we have this little pocket. And then I made this little booklet. This is a free image that you can find on the web. And I just took it into Photoshop and made this little booklet um, with this paper on the back. And I might just put this up on um, Scrap and Create's website. It's a free download. So if, if you do want the little booklet, you can just print it out and that would fit right in here. So now you have a little booklet with more space for writing, since this is our little journal. So that would fit in here. I added this piece to the center. I think I showed you how to do this already. This is another page that we'll probably have free download from um, our website. And then we turn the page, we get to this where we have the envelope. So I have, this is another one of the four cards. There was this card, there's four of them. And what I did with this one is I just folded the edge up over to make a little tuck spot here. So this is just one of these cards with the folded edge put over. And again, I used that little bit of washi tape there probably going to be putting that, <clears throat> excuse me, right here. I think that looks good. And then I'll find something to put in this envelope. Not sure what. I think I'm going to probably leave this empty unless I put this over here. No, it looks better over here. I'm not sure. I don't want to put too much. I don't want to make this too bulky. And then I'm not sure if I'm going to be using that there. Then we have this little envelope. Need to make something to put inside of here, a tag or something. And then we have this. So I got to figure out what to do with that. I'm not going to be doing anything with this, this, or this. So the only thing I need to figure out is this. But you guys, can, you got some stuff you can play around with. And if you're a junk journal maker, you got plenty of stuff you can put in here. You just need to be mindful that you do not want to make this very a thick little journal because you do not have much room. So I want to keep everything pretty flat. Um, maybe add one or two things, but that's it. So I'm going to figure out what to do over here. So with this little piece, I'm only adding like, what is that? Three quarters of an inch worth of, of tape at the bottom. It's going to go like that. So you have room on the top to put something up in here. N not necessarily this but you can put something up in there. So I'm just gonna adhere this just on the bottom and this page will be done. So get your two signatures, signatures. Get your two um, book pages. So this is going to be page one. So we are going to be putting this in just like a regular mini album. I kind of angled, angled the edges just to where the end of the score tape is. Do not angle it all the way down. Just angle it to where the score tape is. Remember, these are three quarters of an inch hinges. So they're taller than half an inch, tall, yeah, than our regular half an inch. This is half an inch tape. So we have a one quarter 
inch showing down here. That one quarter is going to let you know where you need to stop. So you slip in your pocket page. Get this out of the way. And when you, you pull it up till you get to that one quarter of an inch part of your tape. So once you see that there's the, the tape, go back down till it gets to one, till it just covers it and you just see it. That's where you're going to be pulling the tape. So when I pull my tape, I'm gonna hold it down here, reach in there and pull that tape right there. When I was ready to pull this tape, it's actually easier if you, um, I'm gonna untie my bow here, reduce the bulk here, and took this off so there's no bulk here. This is, this actually lays flat this way, so this side's gonna be much easier to pull, get it straight, and then pull it on this side first. This is nice and flat. And with this one, obviously it's going to be much easier when you pull it on. Probably, oh my God, I can't get it in there. There. On, let's see, this side is not too flat. Let's see this side. This side is actually pretty good too. So what I think I'm gonna do, I am going to do this one first, do the back one first, because it's flat right here. This is flat, pull that. Then we can move it over to this side and then get this one back in here. And pull it flat here and pull, pull the tape. So that's what I'm gonna do. It's always easier if one side is flat. 